Hi, Oliver. Oliver's marker word is good. The marker words lets Oliver know that what he just did gets him rewarded, so he will be motivated to do it again. Good timing allows the puppy to figure out quickly what is being rewarded. So for Oliver's hand signals or hand cues, um, the palm facing out like this, I would like him to touch right there. Touch, good boy, excellent job. Excellent job, buddy, touch. Good, get it again, we're gonna get him motivated a little bit with that one. He will do it either side of his body. Touch. Good. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Good boy. I also use a reset with Oliver, which is throw a treat away. Giggity, 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 giggity. <laughs> Hopefully to get him moving a little faster. Yoli. And then also we started with the follow the fingers with a treat in the fingers. And you just go like this. And come on, follow the fingers. Good boy. Ali sit is a cupped hand raised like this. Puppy, puppy, let's not be lazy. Come on, puppy. Good job, Ali. Good job. Here we go. Ready? Good. Go get it. Oliver generally does not do two things at once if it includes chewing. Boy, Oliver. Oliver's down is now a finger point like this. Good. I treat from back here so he stays down. Good. You get. So we trained him not to come after the treat. Very good. Excellent, Oliver. Go get it, get it, get it. Good boy. Add a little extra value to some of these treats. Maybe he will move. All right. So then we have a lead it. Let's do another down. Come on here, buddy. I, oh, I put the smelly treats on way too soon. And they're on my finger, but that shouldn't matter. Good. Take it. Good job, puppy. Good boy. And he's chewing. Good. Good. Boy, go get it. Come is like this. Ollie, come. Touch, good boy. Good job, puppy. Oliver, sit. Good. Go get it. Puppy, puppy. Oliver, down. Good boy, take it. Good boy. You find it? Good, go get it. Oliver, down. Good, take it. Good puppy. Good boy, so good, yeah. I like to use the cues singly versus chaining them, which would mean um, this type of a repetition, which I'll show you. Good, good. That would be considered chaining, which we tend not to do when we're trying to discriminate a cue, like down, sit, and oh, oh very good. Thank you so much. <laughs> he knew what that meant, see? Very good. Excellent, Ollie. So now we have leave it. Ollie has a hard time sometimes with the paper products in the house of leaving it and a couple other things, but once he gets it and he understands that you want him to leave it, then he does pretty good. Leave it. Good boy, Ollie. Take it. Leave it. Because he's chewing. That's really not fair. Leave it. Good boy. So you see me when I drop it like this. This was the original hand cue for him to leave it. We just cover the food. Good. Take it. While you pick up this food, you present another. Excellent job. Leave it. Good boy, I really like that he looks back at me um, to see what he's supposed to do. That's a really good thing to keep in there. So as soon as he looks at you, if he offers that, even if it's within a couple seconds, that I would treat. Go get it, buddy. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. He looked up, glanced up. That's good. Go get it. That's a good boy, Oliver. Good job. 
So I showed you come outdoors. We are just using now Ollie, come pop, 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 like that until he comes in. I also love red light, green light, and take it. This is a game that I use with all the puppies, with everything. It's all about self-control, um, thinking, um, and being released. So red light, green light, if you think of it this way, you start fast and high, and then you go to slow and low. So when I start, I have a treat in my hand, and I start to bring it down just an inch. If they don't move, I say, good. And give it. Although this is a nonverbal thing, so I've already introduced all those markers into it, but we will now be quiet. So then um, you would just come a little further, and then good. Good is good. That's the marker, so. Good. Good job. And so Ollie is really good with the red light, green light. He is waiting at the doors now to sit until he's released with his cue word of break. But for this, it's take it. So with a treat. Ready? Take it. Good. So now we're going to bring it down really, really slow. Take it. Good boy. And that's where it ends up is down slow. Right in front of him. You could put it Take it, good boy. I was hoping he would maybe come towards it. If he did, I would just raise it like that with his nose. I would raise it up and then bring it back. Take it, good boy. Excellent job, Ali, very good. I love take it because it, Ali has learned that there's gonna be a treat coming because I said good. He also knows that if I say take it, he's going to get a treat. So he likes the idea of not having to guess when he's going to get that treat. Take it tells him it's right then. Take it. Good boy. Excellent. Yay, Ali, Ali, go get it. Good boy. So kennel, we do the finger point and the word kennel. Kennel. I like to treat inside of the kennel at first with kennel, 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 so that it builds value for the cue. Ali, come on out here, puppy. Kennel. You can get him to go down in the kennel, and then that would be good too. When he gets in here, he turns around and faces you and waits. Ollie, come on up. Good boy. And this is going to show you his break, his release cue. Ready? Kennel. Good. I'm giving him a treat. I'm going to shut the door. I'm going to stand up for a couple seconds. Good boy, Ollie. He does this when you open the door out to go outside or inside, in and out of the X pens. He will wait for you to give the break cue, and he also does it with his food bowl, which we'll show you at the end. Very good, Ollie. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Follow the fingers. Ooh, puppy, puppy. Good job. send them off because once again I don't really like chain unless you have to when they get older puppies are hard down excellent job I treat from behind here once again with the down what it helps to do is keep them down instead of popping up and it will help with your stay good take it excellent job good boy Ollie go get it good job Ollie the black poppy pop hand out front like that pull it back up by your head when you're far enough away wait a couple seconds good. take it good boy see that keeps him in place and not coming to you which is wonderful with a stay you would like a stay only to be released with your 
release word, which in case would be break for him, but I haven't done that yet with the stay, just so he gets stay under his belt. Go get it. I'm gonna send him away, I reset him, because this is hard work. Find it, Ollie. Here it is, way we'll back here. Get it, good. Good boy, Ollie, you're doing so good, puppy. You're such a good little boy. Here you go. Down. Good. Stay. I started stay with my dance stay. I danced all over the place and he was able to stay. I think I just kind of distracted him enough with my lovely dancing. Now he has a really good stay. Take it, Ollie. What a good boy. And that is hard for a puppy. Good boy. Especially this excitable puppy, which you can't tell right now. Oh, he's going to give me his teddy bear belly. I'm so cute. I'm a teddy bear. Ollie is such a love. He really is. He always does this when I go to pick him up, and he just becomes a big old squish ball of fur. He is going to make you so happy, and you're going to laugh all the time, and have so much fun with Ollie, because he is a fun boy. He loves to play tug. He retrieves things and brings them back to you now. Uh, ouch. He has a little bit of an active mouth when he gets excited, but that's understandable for a puppy like Ollie. Very good, Ollie. Come on, puppy. Will you get up on your own? Yay! Go get it, buddy. You're going to have a lot of fun with Ollie. Enjoy every moment. He has a great foundation on him, and he's ready for you to pick it up and continue to show him the best dog that he can be.